There you are, Graham. Tactically, Rodriguez Viano from stall one uh, hasn't held that early position. And the power horses, the speed horses, River Falls and Power Lake take them along. And Rodrigo Triano is last. So he's going to have to be a very good horse to win from that position. And he's going to have to pull wide and he's going to have to come round. But it's uh, Bruce Raymond uh, are setting the pace on River Falls. Drawn four, got the rail. Then Power Lake, yellow cap, John Reed on the left. Balajidal, the blue colours in behind. Lion Cavan is swinging along well. Eden's close, has, still has Rodrigo de Triano behind him and they come halfway in the Newgate Stud Middle Park Stakes and as they pass the halfway pole Rodrigo de Triano is still sharing last place, the favourite. River falls the rails, Power Lake, the Balajidal. Now, Rodrigo de Triano, stall one, has had to pull wide to finish. Then Lion Cavan can't be ruled out. They've got a quarter of a mile to go, and it's still the rail, River falls. But look at this serious racehorse, Rodrigo de Triano, really quickening the tempo. Steve Cawthon takes Lion Cavan wide. He's chasing, and he's got pace, and he's finishing well. But Rodrigo de Triano has got first run on them now. And as they go up towards the line, Rodrigo de Triano from Lions Cavern who's closing as the post comes but Rodrigo de Triano keeps his unbeaten record Lions Cavern is second and then River Falls third followed by Power Lake Balajidal and Eden's close did well to stay so close to them for such a long way and so the result then of this the Newgate Stud Middle Park stakes a win and an impressive win for me better than the book suggests outpaced early on finished well came home well unbeaten son of El Gran Senor number six Rodrigo de Triano in the colours of Robert Sang to bred at the Swettenham Stud, so homebred, trained at Marlborough by Peter Chappelheim, ridden by Willie Carson, his 129th and 130th winner of the season. The even money favourite. Second was number three, Lions Cavern, who at this stage in the white sleeves jacket worn by Steve Cawthon had been pulled wide. Third horse home was the Pacey River Falls, led for a long way, but I think we've seen a very good racehorse indeed. Obviously he is, in that he's unbeaten five out of five, but to come from where he did against fast horses over a trip that possibly wasn't his best, this is a good performance. Don't take anything away from the second, uh, which was... Lions Cavern, but there Willie Carson brings his son of El Gran Senor home, the even money favourite, and a very, very good performance. Certainly was a fine performance, Graham, but uh, there are two good horses in this in this race. Lions Cavern has, has, has run a tremendous race when you consider that he had to be pulled very rapidly round the whole field. But let's have a, a look at the whole race again and the most vital part because uh, the favourite was very slow to find his stride. I think this probably uh, they decided just to settle him in at the back, but they just took him off his feet early on. But now you just watch his very quickly into his stride and then just get stopped by Bala Jadel, Willie Carson, they're having a real tug on him because the horse just started to take a good hold. Willie then got him settled. Now as the race begins to uh, take part now, you'll see that uh, River Falls and Power Lake, just the two stable companions, going along, going a good gallop in front. Steve Cawthon sitting in behind on Lion Cavern. And really at this stage, I thought that Steve might have just kicked on a little bit um, he's probably just waiting for uh, Rodrigo de Triano just to make his new because unfortunately for Steve he then gets stuck in and uh, stuck for a little bit of tow he's waited for the opening to appear waited as long as he could and then decided that he's going to have to come round horses and the horses really quickened up well but Rodrigo de Triano has already gone for home and well as the French horse runs on he never actually makes any more ground on this horse of Peter Chappelheim's he's come out a very convincing winner I should think he'd be good enough to win over five or seven but certainly much too good for these, even over a six. Yes, I don't quite agree that he didn't make any ground on him, John. I would have thought that...